Okay, so here we are in Compressor and what we're going to do is just choose the simplest settings for exporting and preparing footage for DVD Studio Pro when you go to do a, um, a DVD project. So first of all, we just notice a few things. Here's your file window here, preview window, a bit of history for what you've done previously and your settings. Okay, so what we're going to do first is add a file and I'm going to use my test fishies that I exported from the last one so you can see it comes up here. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is that it comes up here and you want to drag settings and destinations here. Now, what I like to do if I'm sending something to DVD is choose DVD groups, submenu, and what you presented with here is best quality for different time periods and fastest encode as well. All right, and then you've got, um, if you do happen to be burning other projects, uh, HD DVDs, um, so you can burn um, high definition projects. But in the meantime, for anything um, that you have exported a normal HD project, if you are just burning to normal DVD, um, you best to go with just one of these. Now, what I prefer to do is if I know that I've only got quite a short film or a doco, whatever it may be, um, I'll use best quality 90 minutes. You can just grab that folder, click and drag, and you can see here that it's going to split it into an audio track and a video track. All right, so you see what it's going to do there. And now we want to change the source. Okay, sorry, the destination. So at the moment, the files are going to be sent to their original source. So that means sending it back to the desktop, I think. But what I'm going to do is in destinations, add a destination. Uh, so see where it says source, it says current source location, which is the desktop. But I'm just going to define that anyway, clicking and dragging onto both of those projects and say that I both want them sent both to the desktop. Nice and simple. Okay. And that's basically setting it up, ready to be sent into DVD Studio Pro, but we want to then submit the project, name it, uh, just call it, keep it as test fishy, it's going to submit. All right, now that's been submitted to the batch monitor. So if we go batch monitor, that opens up, we click this computer, and you can see that it's working away there and already the audio has been done and because it's only a short video um, it's not going to take too long exporting out there depending on how long your project is if it's a, a five or a ten minute project it may take about half an hour to do this but what that does is prepares everything for DVD Studio Pro when you go to make a custom DVD project and we'll cover that in the next tutorial